Welcome back everyone. In this episode we're going to finish off the Botanical Gardens, get it installed as well as the landing bay. continue on working on the botanical gardens here um, this is all but ready I uh, got lighting I need to attach to that now the uh, client bought uh, the lighting kit for the model as well it comes with everything in it I mean everything works separately torpedoes warp engines everything comes with all the buttons and all the wiring lights uh, resistors, a couple of speakers for the phasers and torpedoes. Uh, so I'm going to be using these lights. Uh, these particular lights here are for the warp engines. Uh, there, there's extra lighting I'm going to be putting in the model because not everything comes with the light kit. So I still have to add some stuff. But these lights here I'm going to be using to light up this section and the engineering and the main hull. But first things last, let's just take what we don't need right now. Okay, <clears throat> now, um, I got some stuff to make this look like water, but what I can do to make it go a little bit faster, just because it's so small, it'd be kind of a waste of Money. I'm going to use a little bit of this and then I'm going to mix in with it um, a little bit of blue, just a touch of blue to give it a, uh, that blue kind of haze to it. So I'm going to just cut a couple of drops and just put them in, in the gouges here where the, where the uh, pond is and then just put a little bit of the blue in with it, mix it all up and it'll look really good. Okay. Whoops, boy did that glue out pretty fast. A little bit over there, a little bit over here. Okay, I'm just gonna take an old useless brush. One that's just a garbage brush that I don't really care about. Just a teeny tiny bit of the blue here. I just set a Mix it in. Now, um, when it's in the model, you're, you're really not going to notice it. To be honest, it's it's basically just the fact that you know it's there is what makes it satisfying. Is that you know it's there. Honestly, I think it has a little too much blue, but <laughs> but you know. Now for the bridges, I'll just have uh, tiny little plastic parts and I'll, I'll make it look like a bridge and glue them in place there. Actually, okay. All right. Okay, um, <clears throat> now uh, the points here where the bridge is, I gouged those out too, since I'm going to be putting another uh, 
like a plank, whatever, going over top the bridge sections. So it'll actually, you'll be able to, <laughs> honestly, you won't be able to see it, but just knowing, like I said before, that it's there is enough. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to paint all the rest of these areas here that are not the path. Um, uh, kind of a greenish color in these areas here and then uh, and then do the pathways after so let's get that done okay got a fairly dark green from some of these areas here Good. All right. Uh, I gotta let that dry, and then use the brush, paint the uh, glue on the walk paths, and then I got some uh, path material to put on afterwards. Here. Okay, looks pretty good so far. And I got this stuff here that's really, really fine. Gonna be used as a walkway here. Bridges here to put in. to put in
one here, 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 and one over here. Part one right here. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to paint them on. Um, the benches themselves are a brownish color. Uh, so I got this wood color here. And that's the color of the um the bridges here as well Get one bench Now I'm just going to worry about putting the trees in. Now I got this here to put in for the uh, the shrubbery and the trees and all that. Okay. So I don't need very much because it's not that big. Some of the big trees. Take a small little bit like this. Roll it around a little bit. Oops. Just basically just following the plan here. Um, There we go, just gonna let it all dry now. Do a little bit of painting on the walls on the insides there, and it's ready to go for installation. Okay, um, <clears throat> now, I also made the, the side bay windows here. I took the, the really thick plastic, I cut it down, and then uh, using this here, I uh, cut down the edges here. So it fits inside just like that. You can see it looks good. And I'll, I'll paint on the ridges later. 
and I went to a, a thinner uh, ceiling on that because I still got part of the uh, the diet landing bay kind of partially covers over the top there so <clears throat> so I'll paint the walls glue this on top and then paint the the detailing on the ceiling and uh, yeah looks good okay I got uh, photos here of what the uh, design looks like for the ceiling that'll go on here so I just got to uh, copy those onto here and it'll look really nice. Yeah, I'm just going to put this down on here, just like this. painting on there and it'll be done. There we go. Okay, looks good. There we go. Okay. That goes on top there now like that. Looks good. Good. Looks very good. <laughs> Got that installed now. And it fits like a glove. Now for this section here. See, there's a bit of a gap there. I have to fill that in. And see, it's not going to go along there because it, it has to come out a little bit like that. Basically, just following along the spine here. But I need to add something underneath here that'll keep that up. Now on the back here, I still have to drill some holes here for the tractor beam. And a red light goes up there, shining out for the tractor beam. <clears throat> um, this is what it is. Can't, so I swear it has to go like just like that. And all the lights have to come all the way down. So this little nib here has to be shaved off for the lighting to come all the way down. Line up 
pretty much like that. That looks good. All right. So what I need to do now is uh, start running some lights. Actually, lights for lighting up these windows here will go on the sides here and get lighting along the top. I have to shave that off down along the top here and lighting in this area here to light up that and lighting over here to light up the navigational deflector but um i got that uh tri-colored light for the deflector and the um, magnetomic amplification crystal which is right here Here's what I got so far for the lighting. Got that wrapped around. Got a small line underneath there to light up the lower windows. And I got uh, the main line going down the spine to go through the windows here, or the uh, lighting grid. Um, <clears throat> on the back here, I got uh, these marked out where I need the drill for the tractor beam. And I got my fiber optics here for the flashers underneath there and there and above here. Um, for those, I'll use a uh, three mil uh, lighting. Uh, probably just one white down here, a white over here, another white over here, maybe where it comes down over. So it's a little bit more to do. So I have to uh, connect this line with this line. Make sure you follow the, the negative. So these lights will be hooked up to a 12 volt power supply. All the, uh, the three mil lights are not all on the same circuit. Like for instance, this in here under here is a faster flash. And the other two on the top and bottom are slower. This one down here, so it's not interfering with the um, landing bay. Down low. Place 
base in. And then I'll be using um, heat shrink as a guide for the fiber optic go to go to the lights. Let's just double make sure that this isn't going to interfere anywhere here. Now, the um, heat shrink is going to be covering the whole light, so there's no fear of blinking, interfering with the, the, the lights on the ceiling or anything like that. So, that'll be fine. So, when I go to put the fiber optic line in, it's going to be sticking out of the model just a little bit here. And I want to make it long enough to go to the light. And still stick out the model and I'll trim it down a little bit later but even so I, I still want it to stick out of the model just a teeny tiny bit and then um, I'll take uh, the window maker dab the tip so it rounds off the tip like it would be on the big model all right let's get those well for right now I just need to get the sizes well actually I can do that later for the fiber optics uh, it's still a little bit too early for that yet <clears throat> but for right now let's uh make sure everything here is okay so that's in place that's not going anywhere that's good so i'm going to run a line between this light and this one over here since those two flash at the same rate so I get those two tied in together this is on its own line uh, let's just do that first. Just making sure which one was negative. tied in together there now <clears throat> what we have to do is glue these down so that they don't move because these particular wires are so thin they're really easily prone to snapping off So if I keep the movement down to zero, the chances of that snapping off will be non-existent. Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we're going to continue with the lighting of the rest of the ship. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. And please check out my website, www.epicmodels.com. See you all again later. Bye-bye.